I'm talking with Keith Richards, owner of Keith Richards Consulting. Keith, you'll be the opening keynote on the introductory day at this year's Agile Business Conference. You'll be talking about the golden rules in order to implement Agile successfully. Mm -hmm. Without giving too much away, is there a simply a set of rules that organisations need to follow? I think there are some rules. I think they're uh, sort of tried and tested. Uh, a lot of people uh, go into this uh, agile uh, idea and concept, but they they do so uh, more in a sort of haphazard way. And, and there are some basics. Certainly, they're covered in the presentation. But generally speaking, you, you need to know where you're trying to get to, what problem you're trying to solve, and how you're going to get there. It, it is a big change. It's uh, it's if you like a transformation program. It's not just an idea of uh, doing a couple of weeks of training and, and off we go. So yes, there are some rules. What advice would you give to organisations that are interested in Agile but have yet to embark on their first Agile project? I think um, there are some really big things for them to do. Uh, the first thing they've got to do is actually work out what Agile actually is. Uh, there's a lot of uh, myth, a lot of hype out there. It's very easy to uh, fall into the wrong places or, or misunderstand some of the basic concepts. One example I would give is, is you know, are you working in a project environment or a product environment? Uh, these are different, they're, they're, there are many overlaps but they are fundamentally different and therefore you need to know what sort of problem you're trying to address. Equally, uh, are we talking IT here or are we talking um, more about business change and, and non-IT environments? So those are the sort of questions that you, you've got to ask yourself. How do you address the needs of project management and project managers in an Agile project? I think uh, the, the first thing you've got to do is, is get to what I call project management basics. You've got to understand what a, what a project manager actually does. Um, there's, there's a big difference between a team leader, someone just managing a small team of agile personnel, and, and what is full-blown project management. Uh, the idea of uh, running parts of the project that are non-IT, that have got to interface with IT, uh, and the, the wider uh, sort of holistic view of a project uh, typically, you might be dealing with 12, 20, 25, 50 people on a project and then from a project management point of view, you've got to understand what disciplines in the Agile space work at that sort of scale. Uh, again, one of the biggest myths is that uh, a lot of people think if you've got a team of three, you know, that might be project management, but it's not really, it's, it's more team leadership. So for the project management community, they've got to understand what, what we're talking about here with Agile project management as opposed to just Agile solution delivery, which is something significantly uh, different. And where do you see Agile in five years from now? That is a very, very interesting question. Uh, if we do Agile properly and if the initiatives by things like the DSTM Consortium and APMG, if these uh, get traction and, and have credibility, I could see Agile is going to be uh, is going to be everywhere. Everyone will have a position. If, however, we sort of go down some of the more viral routes and um, it's, it's a little bit more haphazard, Agile might have a bad name. So it's whether, I feel like, the goodies win or the baddies, really. And I think that um, going, down, uh, going down the stretch, and it doesn't matter what Agile approach you're using, if you're doing it properly, you're doing it well, you're scaling it properly, then I think uh, Agile's here to stay. Thanks very much, Keith. No problem, you're very welcome.